Coming to you from the Carol Blanton Ferris Law Firm Studios, it's the A1 Minute, brought to you by Smith Strong PLC. Hey, it's Kelly with your A1 Minute. Let's get into it. The ice cream tournament is down to its final four. One half of the semifinals pits Nightingale Ice Cream Sandwiches versus Jilly's Frozen Custard. Both secured upsets over well-known establishments Bev's Homemade Ice Cream and DeLuca Gelato. The Nightingale does not even have an ice cream shop. The other semifinal is between creative and food network worthy Ruby Scoops versus perennial favorite Gelati Celesti that scored over a thousand votes previously. Voting is open on Richmond.com. Make sure you get those votes in today. And the Richmond People's Budget gives citizens a direct input into how funds are allocated for different projects. From the installation of bike racks to pothole paving to community refrigerators, the goal of the project is to see city taxpayers' dollars go toward immediate needs felt by the individual communities. Currently, the $3 million project is in the brainstorming phase. In September, a compiled list of requests per district will be voted on by residents in the spring of 2025. And the excitement of horse racing is back at Colonial Downs Racetrack this weekend. Kicking it off with Thirsty Thursdays featuring $3 drink and $2 food specials. Party at the Downs on Fridays with the happy hour and live music. And at Rosie's Give Back Day this Saturday, the first 1,000 people will receive a free 18-month racing calendar, enjoy pony rides, a petting zoo, and of course, the thrilling races each night. Make sure you visit rosiesgaming.com backslash racing for more details. All right, this episode was brought to you by Smith Strong PLC. Be sure to keep up with the latest news over on richmond.com and on the RTD app. And get interactive with us over at RTD News and Virginia Video Network. We'll be back soon with another A1 Minute.